What's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. First and foremost, I want to thank every single one of you that helped me with that favor that I asked last night. If you guys don't know, my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer. She had her surgery already. They found it in the lymph nodes, so it is spreading, so she's got to do chemo. We just found this out a couple days ago, but the point is, my uncle which is obviously her brother made a song. He has a YouTube channel called Superior Jam Tracks, and he uh, made this YouTube video, this, this beat dedicated to my mom, and it was beautiful, right? It was absolutely amazing. You could see there was so much pain and emotion and feeling into it. So I wanted all of you to go like the video and leave a comment and even subscribe. Just support that video because it's a beautiful thing. It, the video means a lot to me and I'm sure it would really mean a lot to him if you guys went over and supported that video. So I'll link it in the description and the pinned comment. Please go over there and just like it and just show some support. It would mean the world to all of us. So anyways, uh, why do you think... Banks would fear silver. That doesn't make sense, right? Because once upon a time, banks used silver as money. Constitutional silver, or a.k.a. junk silver, walking liberties, mercury dimes, barber quarters, barber half dollars, all that stuff, that was government-backed. So why in the world do banks all of a sudden hate silver? Well, there's a reason for this, and we're going we're gonna to dive deep into this because this does get very complex. This is a very, very weird type of topic, especially even weirder nowadays, which we'll dive into in a second, right? It, things are crazy right now, but, I mean, we are living in crazy times, which is also why we could expect crazy silver prices. Like I always say, there's a reason why my name is Silver Slayer and not gold slayer so let's jump right into it banks are, are are interesting places very corrupt hide a lot of stuff behind the scenes and the decisions they make aren't for the good of the people it's for the good of themselves and they portray the decisions they make are portrayed to persuade the people to think a certain way i mean that's manipulation right at its finest it's control if you're in debt you're a slave to the system the system is designed to fail and the way they're trying to fix this solution is by throwing on more debt it's like trying to pay off a credit card with another credit card and now you can see why we're $29 trillion in debt and the dollar's lost 98% of its purchasing power. That's just to give a little context to what we're getting into. Now, gold and silver is real money, been valuable for 5,000 years. Fiat-based systems are a newborn baby compared to the longevity of precious metals. No fiat system has lasted longer than 200 years at most. So when we're looking at silver... When people have silver, they're transferring fake money into real money. The dollar's strength is only as strong as people perceive it to be. If people don't think the dollar is strong or don't, don't believe in the dollar, then it literally isn't strong. And that's a scary thing, thinking that because the United States dollar, the USD, is the world's reserve currency everyone across the globe relies on the u.s dollar's strength and if people start to see that the dollar isn't that strong which this pandemic has exposed to that then you can see how this could be a very dangerous sticky situation and that's already happened this pandemic has exposed how broke we really are and now countries are already opting out of the dollar as their currency that's a scary that's a scary thing and a scary time and place to live in and now you can see why there's um there's fed coin you know banks are heavily getting into the the, the crypto side of things there's tether which is pegged to a dollar there's usd coin which is usdc it's literally a usd coin it's pegged to a dollar there's ripple which banks 
own and control Ripple. So banks in the Federal Reserve and government, they're already heavily and have been heavily into cryptos. They just don't talk about it. Kind of going into the reason that the same reason they don't talk about precious metals. Banks love gold. Banks love gold. Gold is a monetary metal. It's a store of value. The only reason United States is the richest country is because we own the most gold. But Silver Slayer, gold and silver are essentially the same thing when you're looking at it from a monetary perspective. So why in the world would banks hate silver? It's a good question. The reason banks love gold is because it's a store of value. Silver is also a store of value. So there's no reason why banks should hate silver but love gold. And I'll explain why. Because silver also is an industrial metal, but we're looking at this from a monetary metal. This has, the industrial side of things has nothing to do with banks. Banks focus on money, the monetary side of things. And both gold and silver are monetary metals. So just because silver also has industrial aspects has nothing to do with banking. So why in the world would banks hate silver? Doesn't make sense, right? Well, maybe it's about to. When we got rid of the gold and the silver standard, right? Once pre-1965, you know, now our money isn't backed by anything. We knew what that was going to lead to, right? When I went to the store and handed that store clerk a 50 cent walking liberty, I could get a gallon of gas with that. Because gallon of gas was 50 cents back in the day. Now I could go to the store clerk, the gas station, hand that lady the same walking liberty, and it could still get me a, a gallon of gas. Still could. Gas isn't 50 cents a gallon, but that walking liberty has eight, nine, ten dollars worth of silver in it. So I can go sell that walking liberty for ten dollars to the local coin shop, come back. And get a gallon of gas. So literally that same coin back then could get me a gallon of gas as it can today. Back then it was the face value. The 50 cent piece. Nowadays it's not the face value but the metal content inside of it. And that's why I try to tell you guys silver is timeless. It's priceless. But back to the point. When you're transferring fake money into real money. That is taking faith away from the dollar. That's why banks are going to push stocks. They're going to push college. Things that will put you in debt. Things that are pegged to the dollar. Because once you go into cryptos or go into precious metals, you're basically rebelling the system. Gold and silver is a direct threat to the U.S. dollar. Especially silver, because silver is the devil's metal. It's the rebellious metal. It's the it's the bearish one. Everyone's gonna try to portray silver as as the the one that you don't want to touch. Even though silver is it is blatantly obvious that that silver is the better investment, but they don't want to tell you that. And I get it. I mean, I, I get it, but. It's messed up because silver has so much potential and opportunity within, within itself. When we, so when we talk about, when we talk about banks, when we talk about the future of money, it's all going to be digital. I mean, we're, we are advancing into a digital age. Think of a sci-fi film. It's going to be digital, something with chips and implants. There's not going to be U.S. dollars floating around paper currency. No. That day and age is, is, quickly, is quickly, you know, passing by us. But with banks getting into crypto, it's a messy situation for a lot of different reasons. Banks are centralized, meaning that they are in control. Cryptocurrencies decentralize, which is the exact opposite. Everyone is in control, and if something needs to be changed on the blockchain, everyone has to public, publicly vote. They vote to change. 
I own the I own crypto just as much as you do. Now, and, and the blockchain stores eb- everything publicly, so you could see why banks would want to get in on that because if this does take over the dollar, which there's a possibility it could, then they would have no control. And this is all power move. That's why they're gonna push this debt. That's why they're gonna push things that are pegged to the dollar. And if you are investing in things that are pegged to the dollar, you're just throwing your money away. Silver is definitely a threat to the U.S. dollar because you're taking the power away from them and putting it into your own hands. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Silver was the number one performing asset in 2020. But if you don't watch my videos, you probably wouldn't have known that fact because nobody was talking about it. Nobody. Nobody was talking about it. If that would have been Bitcoin or tesla stock everyone would have been talking about it but since it was silver everyone swept it under the rug no articles came out really that's messed up it's bias i mean it's just messed up but regardless of why the bank's doing it or you know the reasoning it's irrelevant because we know silver's true value we know where it's headed we know where the economy's headed so it's our responsibility it's our duty to do something about it i would hate to be the person that knew silver's potential and didn't invest and then watch it explode and then kick yourself in the butt rather than the person that didn't even have a chance because they didn't know at least you didn't know you know but if you knew and you still didn't that's where the real resentment and regret comes in like the people that knew about bitcoin back when it was super cheap and people were telling them to buy it but they said no and then they didn't buy it and now they're like man i should have bought back in 2015 i'd be a millionaire but the people that didn't even know about Bitcoin, and they're like, oh, well, I didn't even know, so it's not, you know, you, you definitely, if you have the opportunity right in front of you, you got to take it because that opportunity will not last forever. Some things sound too good to be true, but maybe, maybe it's true. So, anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If this video was educational, informational, at least entertaining, make sure to smash the like button. Like I said, go head over to Superior Jam Tracks. And go like, support, comment that video, subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. It definitely would mean a lot to him and my mom too. I appreciate the support. I'm going to keep updating you guys with my mom. I'm going to keep posting daily videos, keep doing giveaways, keep trying to find ways to better my content. If you want to, I made a, a clothing line for silver stackers called AG47 Apparel. If you want to stack silver with style, then go to slayersmerch.com. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.